I S U P K. Hey, Slum, man. This is Priest Kevin the Dome Hall with the I S U P K. On the command of Johnny Allen in California, man. Telling all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. Understand with that? Shalom. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Prayed to him all the time but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Prayed to him all the time but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call to be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me but that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy. You know, sweat, no sweat. We gonna get some more. We are gonna get some more. We are gonna go into it, man. Cause we need to understand that these things that are happening is terrorism in America, man. That's happening, man. To black Hispanics and American Indians, and this will continue to happen if we do not separate from America, man. I'm not talking about what Marcus Scarby trying to do by going to Africa. No. You separate spiritually. You got a job? Fine. Do your nine to five. When your nine to five is done, get that check, go straight back to your people. Go straight back to Southeast, straight back to the hood. Don't associate with these other heathens. Don't associate with these other heathens and all that. Just leave them alone. Leave them alone. Separate, man. Be with your own people, man. You got that? Lamentations, chapter five, verse one. Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 1. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Yeah, read it again. Verse 1. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. What's come upon us, man? Death and destruction has come upon us, man. By the hands of the white man and these other nations, man. And consider what? And consider. Like consider and behold our reproach. And consider and think and behold and see our reproach, our shame. Why is it a shame? What did God say in Deuteronomy chapter 6? He said that we are supposed to be above all people on the face of the earth. He called us a special people, a holy people. It's a shame for a special people or holy people of God to not get justice over oppressions, man. That's what happened to us for 400 years. It's a shame. And we are not respected in America, man. Right. Not just in America. We're not respected to these other nations. These other nations don't even respect us. Right. Why? Because we don't even respect ourselves. First, we have to come to a unanimous decision, a unanimous understanding now as long as we keep thinking, oh, that brother's going to jail, oh, that's his problem. Oh, that sister's about to get killed by a police officer. Oh, he's about to get shot or about to get stopped by a police officer. Oh, that's not my problem. As long as we have that mindset, we're going to continue being ashamed, a product in America throughout this entire world. We're going to continue to be dead and killed by police officers. We're going to continue to not get justice in the court system, man. But once we finally understand and finally acknowledge that your problem is my problem, my problem is your problem, we finally have justice. Because the Chinese understand that, the Japanese understand that, all these other nations, when you see these other nations in uproars, they put together as one people, except for us, man. But we need to do that. Drop that. Okay, we don't. Verse 2, our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. Our inheritance 
What's our heritage? This one here. This is our heritage. These words that God gave us. God said he has shown his word and laws unto Jacob. He has not done so with any nation. These laws in this book, these rules in this book, God gave to blacks and spans and their American Indians, man. Right. This is our inheritance. Right. He also gave us our land, which is in Israel, man, Jerusalem. Our resources, man. We have our own resources, man. That's right. But what is that? Our inheritance or what? Our inheritance is turned to strength. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Now you got so-called Amalekites, so-called Jewish man, calling himself the Jews. I, I know, man. it's, it's a, Calling himself the Jewish man, man. What do they don't even describe? They don't even, they don't even compare to the description of the people of this Bible. Man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thank you, brother. We don't. But on God. Our houses to aliens. Our houses to aliens. Our homes to aliens, man. Who are these aliens? These other nations. What we have. What we build it. Oh, we. Come on, come. Our houses to aliens. Verse 3. We are orphans and fatherless. Hold on. We are orphans and fatherless. What does that sound like? Black and Hispanics, right? Yeah, we're orphans and fathers. Why? No father in the household. So now you got sisters out here. Don't know that abortion is wrong. Sleeping with anybody that gives them a rose, gives them a piece of chocolate, that talks to them nice, that sways them with nice words. Then they don't want a baby, and then what do they say? Oh, it's my body. I can do whatever I want. Well, that's a damn lie. What God said, it's a gift. God said it's a it's an honor to have a baby, man. Honor to have that baby, man. What else? Why women say, oh, this is my baby. I could be a homosexual, I could be a lesbian if I want to. Well, that's a lie, man. When God said that he hates abominations like homosexuality and lesbianism and transgenderism, man. What he hates when a man acts like a woman. Well, a woman acts like a man. Well, he hates when a man dressed like a woman, or a woman dressed like a man. That's not what God says. But because our house are given out to aliens, and our inheritance are given out to strangers, now we have a flip, uh, we have a demented, twisted personality of, of thinking of, we think homosexuality and lesbianism is right. When it's wrong, it's an abomination against God, man. Right? Drop. No, matter of fact, read on. Listen to some more. Our mothers as widows. We have drunken. Our mothers are as widows. Why? Because our strong men are being killed in the streets. Strong men are getting locked up in the prison systems. Strong men are being told you a woman dropped in a man's body. Our fathers were told they're deadbeats. They're garbage. They can't amount to nothing. Our young fathers, our, our fathers that, and ours that we look up to are homeless. The reason you got homosexual men and feminine men in the house, black household, in Hispanic household, and now American Indian household is because there's no masculine father, no masculine father figure to give correction, man, to raise that man up. The show me is supposed to be masculine, not effeminate, man. There any more? Hmm. We have drunken our water for money. We are drinking our water for money. Our water. What is our water, man? What water do we drink? We drink our own, our own water for money. What's that water? The water the white man gave us, man. The water of equality. We drink it for money. Drinking for fame. Drinking for acceptance. That's being accepted by these other nations, man. Being loved by these other nations. That's what we drunk that water for, man. We. Our wood is sold unto us. Our wood is what? Is sold unto us. Our wood is sold unto us. Our own wood. Now we're supposed to be selling to each other, man. 
is shown unto us by strangers, by aliens. We don't even have, we don't even have no resources to call our own. We don't even have land to call our own. We don't have no business to call our own. Because everything has been taken. And now we have to go to 7-Eleven, to Starbucks, to Giant, to save a lot, to all these superstores for food and water and clothing. The Lord said that we would go to these other nations in food and hunger and need of clothing, man, and in thirst. Because we didn't do what he said to do. Because we were rebellious children. Because we listened to what other people said and what other people do and not what the Lord said. Okay, verse 5, go on. Must pay for the water we drink. Verse 5. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. Our necks. Black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Our necks are under persecution. Under hostility. Under false treatment. Ill treatment. Under injustice. We labor. For 40 years our ancestors labored, man. 40 years after that, we labored in America, man. For acceptance, for justice, and what? And have no rest. Have no rest. No land, no resources, no business. Still working, still laboring ourselves to death, man. Two or three jobs, man. We don't have to worry about no terrorism in the Middle East or in Europe. Terrorism is happening in America. In Central America, in South America, America, terrorism is happening in our backyard, man. And the first step to see that and run away is going away from that terrorism is to love your brother as yourself, man. And love your own nation. Love your own people. Love your own brothers and sisters, man. All I wanted was to be a gangster. I ain't lying, I was close to dying. Knew I wanted to live, but I wasn't trying. I was defiant, not knowing that this ain't how we live. This just how they design. Just when you win them streets, you get more indignant. They don't tell you gonna be on papers and no restrictions. My father said I hard had to make a soft ass. I didn't care, I wanted fear when I walked past. In a place where a black man's blood is cheap. I thank the Lord for the day I was on Lake Street. Pissing in the cup, back and forth to court Found the D.C. school, I swear it felt like I crawled on that fucking porch The Lord said, my sheep, they ain't hear my voice Asked me why I'm UPK, I told him